A congressional vote to formally admonish Michelle Lujan Grisham for her gun ban is caught in political limbo amid a potential government shutdown. But at least one New Mexico Democratic congressman says he's on board with it. And as a gun owner myself, I understand how important the Second Amendment is uh, to folks in New Mexico and across the country. Congressman Gay Vasquez, whose district includes parts of the South Valley, indicated today he will vote yes to a resolution condemning the governor, saying solutions to gun violence must be constitutional and enforceable. The full House was set to vote on the resolution this afternoon, but a spokesperson for another New Mexico congresswoman, Teresa Ledger Fernandez, tells us it was tied to the continuing resolution to keep the government funded for the next month. And a procedural vote set for this afternoon was canceled, putting the resolution on hold. While Congressman Vasquez says he would vote for the resolution, it's less a condemnation of the governor and more about the need to protect the rights of gun owners. I think the governor did something to raise the conversation about gun violence in this state that we desperately need to talk about. Meanwhile, Representative Melanie Stansberry, who represents a large chunk of Bernalillo County, said she intends to vote against the bill, the resolution, calling it a distraction from the efforts to keep the government open. Congresswoman Ledger Fernandez has yet to say how she would vote. Meanwhile, we were able to ask Senator Martin Heinrich about his thoughts on the governor's order. I'm not a judge, but it seems to be outside the bounds of what most courts have, have ruled in recent years. And so, you know, my focus is really let's find those places where we can either make new law and we need to do some of that. The House resolution on the governor could go back to the Rules Committee so it can be separated from the resolution to fund the government.